Hey guys, and welcome to a special edition of Reaction Hour. We're going to call this the Kabir Singh uh, episode. We were talking off camera, but I think you asked me. I haven't seen the movie, by the way, guys. I, I've, I've yet to see this. But you've seen Arjun I've Reddy. I've seen Arjun Reddy. Which, in my opinion, I got I to gotta say, because I'm going to criticize you a little bit, as I always do, for not seeing the movie. But the fact that Kabir Singh and Arjun Reddy are so fucking similar to one another, right. you can still have a conversation. I just need to say that. Okay, fair enough. I think a lot of the criticisms that we're seeing about this, the things that you have issue with, were things that we brought up on our review of Arjun Reddy. That said, something we discussed about kind it. Kind of. You know, but essentially, it, it was just an overall lack of ca character development about everyone else except for Arjun Reddy. And even his character was never fully developed. He didn't really have an arc. It was just kind of, you know, little peaks and valleys. But for the most part, it was pretty flat across. And if the, the film is essentially the same, I mean, I think... Similar. I think... There, are, there are key differences, which I talked about in my review. Right. That don't change the events... But change, in my opinion, the interpretation, the context of the not the context, even the context is the same. Okay, it's just the, the performance is better, in my opinion, right. than what VJ did in Arjun Reddy. Right, and there's subtle intricacies on Shahid Kapoor's face, as we've seen that he's capable of doing right. in other films, especially Hater, where we've talked about like there was a scene where you can tell like we're just focused on him in a conversation scene at the beginning mm -hmm. of the movie where it's just. He's acting on his face, right? You know, not physically, not doing anything like yeah, that. Yeah. Whereas I think, and I, I see, I've seen some of the comments on on your review, and I think, you know, personally, I felt like VJ's performance. There was definitely a, a little bit of melodrama happening, you know, a little bit of overreacting, over emoting to really show like this right. guy's sensitive and, and whatever. But I, I don't know. Did we see the same controversy for that film that we're seeing with this one? And is it because this one's just a bigger budget, probably a well, to be fair, no one fucking saw Arjun Reddy. Right. Not that this, that, that that's just a fact. It's because of the language. Yes, and where it came out and everything like that. Yeah. So if you if you were to have seen if 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 Arjun Reddy was a Hindi film when it came out when it came out, it would it would be doing the same amount of things. Right. One hundred percent, I believe that. So, but but there's a there's another point that you made before. Like you're glad this film's happened. You're glad this controversy's coming out because. Well, I haven't made that point. Because I chose in my review to not talk about any of this. Right. I didn't want to because I wanted to be about the story. But I am glad that Kabir Singh exists. People make the argument that it's a misogynistic tale. It represents the patriarchy. It represents everything that's wrong. And, and it's just continuing to convey that message. Males are going to watch this movie and they're going to try to emulate him. They're going to think it's okay to just go up to women and kiss them. And it's okay to just do these things. My argument to that is if they're doing that because of this movie, where the fuck are their parents? Who's raising them? Mm -hmm. Are the, are those parents saying, "Go ahead and watch Kabir Singh, honey"? Like, go and fucking like, no, don't don't blame you can you should never blame the acts of people on one solitary piece of art, right. whether that's a video game, a movie, a television show, or whatever. Now it might inspire people to do something, but you're not gonna magically just have fucking men be pigs because I, I think when you have behavior like that, that's a societal problem. Yes. So and that and and when we watch and. This story isn't brand fucking no. new. This isn't the tale of a drunk guy who's angry, who's aggressive. This is not, or who who decides to just. I mean, we've seen not to this degree, but we've seen in other Indian films where a guy will just grab the girl and kiss them, and it's cute and it's romantic. And those are some of the films. And I don't want to name names specifically, but those are some of the films that people hold in high regard. Yeah. Because at the time it was acceptable. At the time it was okay. Like. Name me one Indian film where the guy asked the girl permission to kiss her. Um, no, it just kind of happens. Name me one fucking American movie where that happens. Right, just kind of. Name me happens. any movie where that fucking. There's no. Name me one situation in real life where you where you, like anybody has asked, "May I kiss you?" Yeah, no, that's never happened. Now, now if you didn't know the girl and you do it, which is what happens in this movie, it's a little different. Yeah, absolutely, but it's like it's one of those tropes that. People are complaining about now about a lot of the John Hughes films or the 80s films where the, the male guy would like do these aggressive things and the girls would fall for it every single time. And I get like it's a common trope that existed for years and it wasn't up until the last 10 years, maybe not even the last 10 years, the last, last few years, the last three or four Facebook years. Since Facebook and Twitter have really right. blown up, social media. Exactly. Like that's when people have started like having issues with these things that they 
they felt was normal before and it's actually something we're going to do on the we're, we're going to kind of break down older american films where you like there's things that you just can't, can't get away do with anymore. anymore there's so many articles about this there's so many people are, are like upset about it but you know let's I, talk about arjun ready for a second because you didn't see kabir singh we already addressed that was that a film that represents the patriarchy uh no was that a, is it a misogynistic film I, I, cause see, I don't, I don't think Kabir no. Singh is one, and here's why: he hits his girlfriend one time throughout the whole movie, right? And people are gonna watch this who already disagree with us from the beginning, who don't actually listen to what we have to say, and they're gonna give me shit that I just defended the fact that mm-hmm. he only hit her once. Okay, let's look at why he hit her in the mo- in that moment. You haven't seen it, so I'm gonna explain it to you a little bit. But you've seen Arjun Reddy. Yeah, it's that scene in which he gives her the ultimatum before he ultimately overdoses when uh, the girl's dad says that you're going to marry this other person. You're not going to marry this fucking... Well, the dad had the issue with the cast. Exactly. He said, you're not marrying this... Now, the cast isn't exactly at play here. Right. But it's a similar... It's the same type of scenario, yeah. right? At that point in the movie, Kabir is already fucking kind of gone. Yeah. He's already raging alcoholic, doing the drugs, all this shit. And he's so fucking angry after, like, two back-to-back scenes where he's tried to fucking convince his parents that... He didn't do, first of all, he didn't do anything wrong in the first place. Yeah. He went there, he tried to talk to the dad. The mom's like, you have, we, this is a joint family. We got to do things together. We're not going to make any decisions without the husband. And that's when he goes upstairs, which he saw in Arjun Reddy, and they're kissing, and then the dad comes and catches them. And the dad starts beating on him, and Arjun Reddy and Kabir Singh does nothing and kind of leaves, right? And then he, he befriends the brother, and the brother tries to be tough, and then that whole situation happens where it doesn't end up happening. He kisses the brother, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then later on, he goes back again. Same type of situation happens where the dad starts beating on the... So, that puts the guy in a, that puts Kabir Arjun Reddy in a situation where you're like fucking angry and not normal, right? And he's pissed off. And then at that second one is when he finds out that she's gonna marry somebody else. Mm-hmm. Now, that's when he leads to the slap because that's when he and the reason why I defend this moment is because after that point, that's when he completely spirals out of control and he never recovers until the end. That's when he really goes full fledged. Like, like that was the triggering moment for him to like. He overdoses after yeah. that point. Like that's when his life goes upside down which is why they show that shot in the visual language he takes the fucking the, the whatever the the shit he does that heroin or what i forget what he mm. takes the the medical grade shit yeah because he's a surgeon and he fucking drinks and he overdoses and they have that shot that goes upside down but when he slapped her that was a very fucking like because he was ang- you could see the fucking anger in his face and you can see pretty the girl she went from "I love you, don't do this," and I'm, you know, crying and like just stop, like holding like that, to like, oh, this guy's a monster, and like it sh- completely shifted for her too right. at that moment. Like because, she got scared and then she because at no point yeah. did he ever lay his hands on her. Right, he would be angry at other people. You know, the holy scene that we saw in in fucking right. when he beats the other dude up and like this aggressive macho machismo whatever, like, but he never fucking hit her. He it, the, in the movie they they have pizza they they move into it. yeah he, he's controlling he's possessive without a shadow of a doubt I can't deny that like the fact that he's like oh just come study with me come live with me come this and live with me mm-hmm. I'll talk to your dad like that's a little possessive but that kind of also happens I think the biggest issue with this film is Pretty has no fucking character development right much better performance here where I could see a little bit more like of their relationship right but she there's, has nothing there's no dichotomy between characters if you it, were to it, give her if you were to give her substance and leave Kabir's action a hundred percent the same don't change anything he does people would be less likely to right. complain because all of a sudden someone can stand toe to toe with him it, it was underdeveloped characters and that's what and it, it was is. just and I think that was when that was one of my big issues with Arjun Reddy was the whole movie was about Arjun Reddy and no one else got development and it, and but not only that but it just kind of turned into like why am I watching this movie what's the point what am I learning from this film at all I didn't learn anything one of the pe- one of the things that someone in the comments brought up and when they brought it up I'm like fuck it might have been on Twitter I'm like brilliant that's fucking genius so in Goalie Boy Ali Abbott is like a version of Kabir Singh now she's not an alcoholic she's not a drug abuser. But she's very aggressive. Yeah. Very aggressive. To the point where she finds out that Gully Boy, I forget his name in the in the movie, is out with uh, Kulky Copeland. Like yeah. they're on like a, not even a date. They're just out together. And they fucking, she shows up and beats the fuck out of Kulky. And she does it like more than once. She goes and is aggressive and like shows this 
masculinity. Well, she's like the hood chick. And people loved it mm-hmm. because they were saying, finally, a woman gets to do something. And that's great. I loved Alia Bot's performance in Gully Boy. Mm-hmm. As a, like, that's, she was one of the strongest characters, in my opinion. Right. Now, the argument becomes about, well, A, equality. You can't shit on one and not the other. Now, you can make the argument, which is valid in my opinion, that this has been a consistent thing for men, and finally one woman gets involved. Right. And now all the, all the men in this, or whatever they're called, come out and use Gully Boy as an example. But there is some truth to it, too. Like, you got to you gotta treat it as spade as a spade. I mean, um, that it is what it is. I do want to read some, some of the comments, though, because that's why we're doing this video. Well, there's some stuff, but here's... here's, the, here's while you while you're going through that, I, I have a thought about this all, and it's like, I know I see that we got a million articles here, and a lot of them is like Shahid Kapoor's catching heat for taking the role. Um, oh yeah, there's doctors. There, I, I can read. And it's some like, of those dude, why? What? It, why don't you go after the guy that made the film who decided to make one-dimensional characters built around this one guy that's loosely based on his real life? Yeah, because really, it's him jerking off about his fantasy life. That, or maybe that's really how I doubt it, but. You know, this fantasy life of, of him in college or whatever he went through. I, I, I think the problem is, is that you... Or T-Series for funding it. Or, or t- like, like there's so these- many... Yeah, but the problem is, if you want to complain about the movie, I think it's less about misogyny and more about having just weak females, like you're saying. That the main female character is weak and she's pathetic. And you don't do anything to answer that. You don't make her... And you could have easily done it. Yeah. You could have easily done it. And that's the biggest thing. It's it's not toxic masculinity. It's fucking weak female characters that make the men look toxic because there's no response to him. Right. You know, and it, it's uh they want it so there's some they're like the, the, the there's some medical people who have been petitioning that the right. censor board should have been more critical of this movie and that they should ban movies that represent medical fields in a negative light. <laughs> And it's just like shit like that has nothing to do with the fucking movie. Like sh- that's a censorship issue. Yeah. That shit really pisses me off because you should fuck the censor board first of all. We've already gone through this numerous times. That censor board is fucking bullshit. Censor board weakens humanity, in my opinion. It weakens your country if everything becomes censored. And then when one little thing comes out, all of the fucking controversy comes out. Because let's talk about something real quick. Kabir Singh or even Arjun Reddy. You compare that to fucking American films, it's like a drop in the fucking bucket. Right. It's nothing compared to how serious or dark or deep some American films go. And not even just American. You can talk about English films. I mean, Shame is a British film, and that film is dark as fuck. I mean, you you could talk about South Korean films. South Korean films. I mean, so, but do those fucking nations censor their people like this? No. And so that's why I think Kabir Singh is a good movie when we talk about, not a good movie, but a, a good thing for Indian cinema. Because there are Indian filmmakers who are making pushy and edgy subjects, but they're not getting the the the, the box office returns. Kashyap is a big example of right. that, right? But this movie is popular. Now, this movie is going to spawn other movies that are like this, okay? And I hope that those directors will add more female characters mm. and make... Th- but the idea of an edgy, boundary-pushing movie is 100% something I support time and time again. The, does the movie... Ha- uh, you know, to have its shortcomings, absolutely. But people are complaining that they wanted a, a bad ending for this character. But the reality is, the guy, okay, he ends up with the girl, but he loses his medical license. That's a pretty big deal. I, okay, I mean, before we even get to that, I think... What, do they want him to die? Here's is that the like... problem. Here is the main problem. This is an indie film. It's an, it's an independent film. This is a film festival type film. That because of its popularity, and well, not Kabir Singh now. No, Arjun well, Reddy. No, no, yeah. but there's a point to that. Arjun Reddy was an indie film in a specific region, and for some reason, it turned into a hit. And they decided to remake the movie for the masses, but they kept it as a fucking indie film. So you have all these people going to show, showing up to watch it because Shahid Kapoor's in it expecting to see a mainstream film and they're not getting that and they're not getting that and, and they're, they're mad pissed off about it because it's that's not a good that's a good it's it's not checking that's a off good the boxes take. and the reason why that's a good take is because something we learn in film school if your if your movie comes out whether it's bad or good that's always subjective i can hate a movie that you love you can love a movie i hate carlos can fucking hate a movie that we love whatever but you can the list goes on and on but what we learned in film school was 
if you're if the movie comes out and people are talking about your movie not that oh it had terrible production design and the acting was shitty or the whatever 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 there's something about your movie that resonated with people right and as a result it's kind of, you can't really say it's a sh- like piece of shit worthless like something's there yeah now the lack of female development that's an issue absolutely but kabir's portrayal as an alcoholic or misogynist that's not the movie's problem no that's a fucking choice that's the director's choice to make that character that way and you know what people don't like to face that reality that people like that fucking exist yeah and in this one narrative that's a reflection of somebody who's like that because you're going to tell me or the people out there going to tell me that there's no doctors out there who have fucking not come to work drunk like kabir singh is the first one and it's right. never fucking happened before a doctor's never lost their license from doing drugs and doing this shit you're going to tell me a guy has never once fucking slapped their woman or whatever like that 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 shit's never fucking happened i mean we've seen that cuz this isn't we've gl- seen that move in several movies the, already this isn't glorifying it though no that's what i'm saying like yeah it's 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 not well and i i go back to like i said the indie film aspect for it when you put a, a relatively unknown actor in that role and you send it to Sundance or you send it to Cannes or whatever, it's going to get a different reception than if you put a, a heartthrob. You know, because like, like, did you talk about your experience in the theater on your review? Thank you for, no, I forgot all about it. No, and I didn't even bring it up there. So I'm glad you brought that up. First things first, first Indian film that I went to that was completely sold out. We went to Sanju together. Yeah. It was full. Like, it was crowded. It wasn't full. Though. No. It, it was, there was people Maybe there. Maybe three quarters. But if, if that. If, if that. that. We're being nice. And it was a little bit more than half. I, like, and I mean, part of that is, like, the community is not a very Indian populated community. This was 200 plus capacity theater, which is a decent sized theater. Yeah. 100% full. No open spots. You had a majority female audience, too, by the way. A majority female audience. Which is already right off the bat surprised the fuck out of me and made me think, oh, maybe Shahid is a little bit more of a, a of a heartthrob than I than I knew. Right. Not. To, I'm not saying he's ugly or anything. I'm just saying I don't know. I don't fucking watch movies. Well, because in in we our have, comment section, people don't talk about him the way they talk about uh, Rith, Rithik Roshan being or a fucking hottie or even the goofball, whatever his name, Rambir. Uh, is it Rambir Kapoor? Is it Ram, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like. No, I understand, and, and that's now they were all women. Like I was saying, mostly women. A lot of dates, a lot of couples, definitely hand-holding, all that stuff. Everybody was fucking... There was at no point where anyone was enraged or angry. People were laughing. People, and there's articles where they're saying, oh, here's this fucking... There's this moment of like extreme toxic masculinity, and then they play it off as a joke. Oh, okay, so if the general population... Now, now I'm obviously... I have a super small sample size, right? Right. But... This anecdotal is, absolutely yeah. and they're american indians too which means they might be more receptive to things like this or more willing to like understand that it's not as or or not i don't know or they're if they're like the americanized at all they're like this is ridiculous and they laughed at it because they thought it was stupid ridiculous. and maybe i don't you know. know i didn't ask it's that. a maybe, possibility we don't maybe know maybe i should maybe i yeah. should do interview public reviews or something after and like mm-hmm. hey what do you think of the movie i don't know maybe but what i'm saying is people were laughing at, at the right moments and at moments that I wasn't even laughing at. Mm-hmm. At no point was anybody like angry. No one walked out. No right. one walked out. No one stormed out. Nobody asked for their money back. And, 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 and it's just, so for me, it's like, I don't know. So th- this, there's a question here. Uh, Pradeep Sharma asks, uh, I'm curious to know how American audience would react to a mainstream movie like this. What, so I think we kind of addressed that. I mean, I don't think it'd be, I don't think it would cause it wouldn't cause nearly as much consequences. No, as it would. and well, let's be let's be completely honest, because this movie wouldn't make any money here, it, it, because right now the American audience only goes to the theater unless Leo was in it. Leonardo. DiCaprio. Unless Leo, but even Leo, when was the last time Leo did a cheap movie? Like really? Oh no, I know. You know, maybe this Tarantino. I, I don't know how cheap the, like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood 100 is. Hundred million, so no. You know, so exactly. Like what? I, I don't know. What, the well, Beach is that the last time he did? A, and I don't even know if that's a small budget movie. You know what I mean? Here's my thing. Why this? Why not? Because we mentioned this earlier about how a movie like this is nothing in terms of like darkness and compared. To Leonardo DiCaprio's last movie was Scorsese, Wolf of Wall Street. Right. The movie literally opens up with him snorting coke out of a woman's asshole. Right. Literally out of her butthole. And that's just that's the beginning of the movie. It's right. just, there's like m- fucking 
midget tossing, as they call it, like all these different things. Yeah, there's all kinds of messed up shit. And Jonah Hill is a piece of shit. Exactly. Yeah. They're on qua- like there's a whole sequence about Quaaludes and like driving impaired. Fucking with ba- one of the like, best scenes ever. <laughs> it's hilarious, but this is my point. Yeah. It's it's so it's like. And and he's doing fucked up shit, shit too. Like there's a bunch of misogyny in that movie, and there right. and it's like Le- in your face, legitimate. Like there's no question about it. Like that's the whole purpose of it. Like strippers everywhere. Like it's just crazy. Also a period piece though. So. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying. Yeah. That that movie came out and it wasn't fucking causing a firestorm. No, in the definitely American. not. This, I'm answering this guy's yeah. question. That's all. Yeah. And so like so to me. That's why I think Kabir Singh is ultimately good for the Indian population because now there's a whole huge conversation started now. Now let me let me let me ask you something though, and this is back to Arjun Reddy and the issues I had with it was, and you know this we've talked about this many times where I personally have a problem with when you have a shitty person as your lead, and there's nothing charming about him or her. Why do you care about them succeeding exactly, or anything? Exactly, exactly. When you don't build something endearing about the character. And I, some people thought he was cool. Some people thought he was romantic. I remember people in the comments section saying stuff. But for me personally, when I watched it, I was like, I'm getting bored of this guy's shtick because there's nothing about him I want to cheer for. There's nothing about him I want to root for. That doesn't it, change yeah, the computer scene it's, either. It's like, and I think, like I mentioned it with, with Nightcrawler is a, is a film where Jake Gyllenhaal is a, a sociopath. He He's is. He's a straight up sociopath, but there's something about him that makes you want to keep watching him and almost root for him in a certain you are rooting for him to, to until succeed. the end until, until, until the, it starts yeah. going too far until it goes too far and then you're like whoa but like, that's the point of the movie yeah you know or or tv you know uh, uh tony soprano fucking murderer literally sociopath as well and you root for him until at, the end until the end uh, but the flip side those same producers created vinyl and Bobby Cannavale didn't work because the whole time I'm watching him, I'm like, this guy's a piece of shit. And there's, I don't like him. I just don't like him. I don't want, and I ultimately, I think that's why the show didn't get past the first season because your lead star, nobody liked him. There was nothing about him written that made him. An and that didn't character. change. That didn't change here. But to blame, to blame that on toxic masculinity, is right. not That's a, that's a cop out. And well, and I guess what I'm asking is if he would have been a more endearing character, would would we be seeing this? We might not be seeing this if he was someone that people actually like. I just think I still I still heart back to underdeveloped female. Okay, and that's fair. That's a fair criticism. It's, he's developed. Yeah, because he has an arc. Now, could there be more like back and forth? Like right. I still would love to see him do more operating shit. Blah 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 blah. But like at the end of the day, it's her that makes this film look worse than it actually is. Right. Because. She is a victim the whole time. And because, and I don't actually genuinely think she is a victim. I think at first she kind of gets goaded into it. Like she, maybe, she, maybe she wants it, maybe she doesn't. Because she was younger. So but she, then, she but got they, coerced. But they do show a like montage of them building this relationship. Right. Up. Now people have criticized, well, she's a doctor. Why would she be so subjugated to this shit? Why would she fall in love with this guy? And, I, and then I realize, and then I'm not realized, but I think to myself, I mean, this, this happens in real life all the time. Yeah, that's how women love men and men love women. This isn't like women are weak or, or there has nothing to do with that. And there's plenty of people we know that we've seen them date, you know, abusers or yeah. assholes, and we or, don't understand why. We're like, why would you do that? Like, I believe not all women, but certain women absolutely do enjoy men it, who do take control. It, not abusive, not slap the shit out of you, but who are like. Oh, we're going to go here and we're going to do this. I mean, if we're... This, when, it's certain, like when we certain talk, women it, like it, men to have the pants I, I in the think, relationship. I, I That's think, the best way to I describe think it. I think we always forget that we're, we're animals. And we might be at the very top of the food chain. We are. And we, and we might, you know, we, we have all these... Intellectually, we're evolved. Yeah, and, you know, there's technology, whatever, whatever. The, like, the societal differences that we have are, is what separates us from the rest of the animal kingdom. You know, but there's still those instincts where you have, you know, we're not that far removed from, I need my strong husband to protect me from or bears. Strong man. Or, or a strong man. Or I need a strong man to protect me from bear attacks and lion attacks and to make sure that we have protein, you know, hunter-gatherer type thing while, while we stay at home and take care of the village and the children. That's, we're not that far removed from that life. So it's still ingrained in our DNA. And that's a reason why. You know, I, I always make a criticism that we're starting to see more of a push for the, like the 
kind of the pussy dude, you know. And they've always been around. There's always been these skinny guys. That they you, just got killed before. Yeah. And now they're getting a chance to and survive. Girls, and there are girls out there who do like these. And there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with it no, at all. Not a single thing. No, nothing wrong nothing with it wrong at all. With that. But at the same time, it, it, it is, you could say, it does exist that there's still the strong guy. There's a reason why there's Andy Ruiz's walking around there with like some dime pieces hanging off their shoulders and it's not because of money and we've seen it in our communities up close and personal you have seen 350 pound cholo dude with this gorgeous woman and that's because they're gonna they're willing yeah. to fuck a dude up on spot exactly or like whatever. and that's what they and they grew up their dad's the same way so it's like you know and it's all it's all a societal thing too because yeah we can't I, so I, I at the end of the day you know, I want to I want to conclude this little segment too, and and for everyone out there, you know, I, I actually didn't go as deep as I wanted it to because I want I had like a whole list of quotes, but we just obviously it's a conversation. We kind of just we we could podcast on this forever, but I wanted to keep it like a short little special edition, and because I didn't want us to not not talk about it. This is what I ended my review with, and I was calling out people who are criticizing the film, which everyone has the right to criticize. I believe in free speech. But they haven't seen it. Yes, I have a problem with people who haven't seen the movie. And my argument is this: if you haven't seen it, you can't have your own opinion. And if you're retweeting the opinions of others, that's okay. We mm-hmm. do it all the time. I do it. You do it. But who knows what your perspective might bring to the table? If you agree that the film is a misogynist film and it sports the patriarchy and things like that, and you haven't seen it, and you're just regurgitating. How do you know that's how you really feel? Mm-hmm. What if you have a whole different argument that's not being presented at all and that you might be able to add to the conversation? Or maybe you watch it and you're like, these people are actually kind of crazy. They don't, they, like, th- th- whatever. There's also, you know... There's it's just, like Twilight. You're, all, you're, you're getting influenced by everyone else's opinion it, you're on just, the subject and you're matter. And all you're doing is continuing the fighting. Right. Because there are people on Twitter... Where we, well, I'll try to engage with them about this movie, and I ask, did you see the movie? And then the conversation just stops. They don't right. respond anymore. I'm like, oh, you didn't see the movie. It, it's one of those things, too, where, like, if you... It's cool to shit on this movie right now. It, if you really have an issue with this film, and you believe what people are saying about the film... You need to see it. Or... you Bootleg it. No, you need to not talk about it at all. That's another thing, too. Really? Like, we, we had this... You bad and I, publicity is good publicity. You and I had this argument about... Uh, What's that film, Bluebird or something? The, the, the yeah, I know what you're talking about the Catholic girl movie. The, yeah, which is in Sacramento. Lady Bird. Lady Bird. What are we talking about? And you were like, "Oh, you need to go and see the movie." And I said, "I don't want to see. The, I don't need to see the movie because I didn't criticize the actual movie itself. I criticized factual stuff by just going on IMDb because growing up in that well, area, we can get an argument about that. that. Well, I got people people co-sign on it though. People that watch the movie co-sign with my opinion. And on that it. might be the case, but yeah. I still believe you need to watch. And the I movie. Said, I don't need to. Watch. I, I, and I said and I and I stick to the well, point that it arguing. could be it could be a great film, but because of the representation issues. Yeah, but you don't know them Casting yet. now we're gonna get. Enough. <laughs> There's not knowing anything about it. That's a, that, that, no, that, but you're the, like you're the you represent what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm giving these people a voice, and I'm saying the same thing. I but I didn't no, go. No, don't defend those people. I'm you not defending them. them. I'm not. It's not defending them. It's like I didn't I didn't go on fucking rants. I didn't go yes, on rants on Facebook. That I won't. I didn't go to rants now. on Twitter. I told you. You told me on a podcast. I said and that was I it. said hey, I'm not gonna watch this film because I grew up in this area. I know what the demographics are, and I will, and it's another whitewashing film that's getting. Potentially, in your opinion, but, but, that I still think is bullshit because you didn't see the movie. But you didn't go on you know Facebook, what? you didn't go on Twitter, and you didn't blast. Aaron about Lee Dow it. has my back, and he watched the film but yeah, more well, than he, once. He saw it. <laughs> he saw it. You didn't. And he had my back. But you didn't blast it on validation. You didn't blast it on social media. You weren't retweeting. Fucking. I didn't write an article about it. I didn't try to start a movement or anything. Yeah. Right. Which is that's the difference. That's why I'm saying mm-hmm. you are. That's okay because. Not having an opinion is having an opinion, or having an opinion but not voicing it to the community is a justifiable thing because you're not trying to spread other people's information. Because I don't think that's positive. I don't think that ultimately ends ends up being anything good. I, I really do think that if you have a problem with something like this, you should see what the fucking problem is yourself, so you can have your own opinion. I just I I, I don't want to say I don't have respect for those people, but. It's very hard for me to take the argument seriously if you've never seen the product. It's, right. That's that's the reality. But it's also a completely different argument as well. That's yeah. the thing. That's it's a it's a completely different argument. This is you saying this movie says this. 
this movie is about this. And when like, they haven't seen it at all. Right. And it's like, well, you can't tell me that this movie, what this movie is about if you I mean, even, seen it. even the knife scene, which is in both films, it's kind of different in Kabir Singh. Right. He pulls that knife out on her and was like, like basically, I want to fuck. We're going to fuck right now. It was, it's rape. Yeah. I, yeah. It made me uncomfortable. It made people in the audience uncomfortable. Mm. And then there's a music cue, and this is Kabir Singh's. The music, their music is in the background, and it turns off. And then it turns back on when he pulls the knife out. And you could see on Shahid Kapoor's face, like, oh, he snaps out of it. Whatever fucking mode he was in, he snaps out of it. And then it cuts to him walking out of the door, like walking by the boyfriend that's outside, yeah. he, like in the Arjun Reddy. And everyone, all the audience laughs or whatever, and that's what people are giving it shit for. Like, everything's played for a joke. But people are really overlooking that one element. Right. They are really overlooking the fact that he did have a momentary like lapse of judgment where he's right. like oh shit this is this is too far and then he goes and puts he literally puts ice in his pants to calm his dick down right that's literally what that symbolizes it's the same exact scene. people put it people said he pissed his pants in that scene no he fucking didn't like this is my point <laughs> yeah. there's reviews that i read that said that he pissed his pants. he didn't though it's a metaphor for his dick is uncontrollable right now it's on fire i need to fucking ice it down right. literally he puts it puts ice in his fucking pants right and so, and the last thing I'll say, genuine last thing I'll and say is... And this goes, but this, this the goes... The movie's two hours and 54 fucking minutes. Yeah. Not to interrupt you, sorry. But the movie's two hours and 54 minutes. And the people only, the, all the negativity, they harp on three things on the whole fucking thing. Which is a total of maybe, I'm going to be nice and say 10 minutes mm. of the 254 fucking, right. or two hours and 54 minutes of the film. So yeah. what about all the other shit? Like if I, this was a misogynistic I, film, I'm gonna, every single moment should have been fucking... He should have been slapping women left and right. I'm he gonna, should have been uh, fucking them and letting them go to the side. Like, he's committed to the one girl. And, the only, and that's the only girl you see him with the entire film. He won't even fuck Except the Except for hot, the very beginning. He won't... And he didn't even have sex with that girl. Right. He tried... He, he, he almost raped her. <laughs> he almost raped her to be... At knife point. Just to be fair. I'm not arguing that. Yes. It was uncomfortable still. But at the end, when he hooks up with that girl who he's fixing that he didn't hook up, the girl wants to have sex with him, and he's like, no, and he fucking leaves. Right. I'm just saying. No, 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 and I'm with you. A misogynist would have fucked both those and Let me, and I'm, and, and I'm going to say it again. The reason why this film fails is because your lead character, the focus of this film never really has any endearing moments you never root for him and you start off with something like that you start off with that that's the worst way to start off this character for me personally like already like this dude's just he's just a bad dude and you you know the arc may be there may not be there but you just never well because people don't even know that's a fucking that uh, that's a flash forward exactly until later on exactly there's just it's just i don't know I, I think the blame should be on not on Shahid. I'll end with definitely that. Definitely not Shahid. Shahid does not deserve any fucking. It's not his fault no. for wanting to be an actor, for wanting to do new things, for wanting to do like. I mean, I don't. Want, I mean, it might be too far to say he should be applauded, but I, I think you know it's definitely. He tried something different. Yeah, exactly. He he didn't try to play the same. You know, if anything, he never does everything we've seen him. And he's, he's been to, he's been a little bit different. In everything. So we've fucking seen so far. kudos you know, to him, yeah, man. So. Give shit to Sandeep for wanting to remake the same fucking movie which, and not address which, the fucking same problems that we had with RJ Reddy. And which we said in our reaction, which you can watch right here. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We're really looking forward to the comments on this video. Uh, let's keep it civil if we can. If not, Daniel's going to tell you to suck his dick. So <laughs> smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Ring the bell if you are. We'll see you next time. Thank you.